Zhang. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not Chinese, so don't ask me. You have not enough minerals. More PVT to practice on, though. I'm excited for this. I'll try to if I if I can get a good guide. I'm gonna I'm gonna close the uh, I'm gonna close the chat and try to win this game with the colo style, so I can create a video guide of it after this game. So this is gonna be full commentary here, guys. The last question I'm gonna read is that guy 804 says I say that because I'd like to not use disruptors too much of a coin toss. Yeah, dude. Colossus Storm. Blink Stalkers into Colossus into Storm. Okay, my last question I answer will be top parries. What do you reckon about disruptors with the colo? Hard to jump. That's kind of I don't know. It's it's a lot into Robotech. I don't like them both that much. Maybe eventually, but I don't like both of them that much. But you can go for it. I don't like Disruptors and Storm together, because that's just a lot to control, man. It's a lot to control. I'm gonna close the chat out, and this is gonna be the Blink Stalker Disrupt or Colossus um, High Templar Army. That is, I've seen a lot of you know, I've seen some high-level EU players do it. I can try to let you Protoss do it. And I am now, I think, 4 or 5 and 0 with this build. And it's one of those builds that I've just been freestyle. I just, you know, this might not be the correct build, but it's been it's been getting me wins. And it's been uh, it's a pretty safe opener that transitions into a pretty strong follow-up. So, I mean, the core composition is you go Blink Stalker Colossus first. With a pretty fast charge. The way I've been doing it is pretty fast charge. For the most part. Um, I, I like the fast charge. I think charge is really, really underrated. And honestly, one of the most important parts of it, because charge is like so, so important. Getting on top of a Terran army, it really is. So, I think charge cannot be undervalued here. I mean, blink is really good to open with, but I do think charge is, you know, also very high on the priority list. So, I mean, you have blink, you have charge, you have colossus. That can beat a lot of early Terran game Terran armies. <laughs> so, but then it does transition into storm later with some storm and archons as well later. Which is just a really nice composition of Storm, Colossus, Archon, and it actually can deal with some heavy Liberator compositions. Um, it is an also, an also an army that, you know, it can be hard for the Terran to micro against sometimes. You know, you, you can, you're really forcing their hand, you really can force out some pressure against them. And see how they react to it. So it's, it's a really good composition that maybe you don't maybe you don't like these disruptors. Maybe it's a little bit too much micro for you. You know, maybe you just want something that feels a little bit more you know sturdy than miss, you know firing off disruptor shots. You don't want to lose the game because you know you missed or hit your disruptor shots. You say, hmm, I kind of want to use a Colossus build, but everyone tells me Colossus are bad. You know, let's try try this one. Try this one. So the core is basically I open one gate. Always open a depth versus Terran. Um, but I open one gate into a twilight. And then uh, I'll get usually three gates and then Robo. Now, if I think it's going to be, if you really think you need to go for, so basically when you're scouting, maybe a Reaper first would be a case for a faster uh, Robo because you're scared of Widow Mines, but almost never would you need a Robo before three gateways. This game I scout and I see two barracks, so I won't need a fast Robo. I will go Twilight into three gates because I scout, I see double barracks. Even if you go to his base and see barracks with a reactor, usually you can just go three rack. Uh, yes. You can go Gateway, Twilight, Come Double back. Gateway, usually. So I am getting the Sentry after the Twilight. It's kind of nice to have this Come as well. He actually enemy. opens Marauder. That's interesting. Interesting. That's different. You don't face that too often. Oh, I should have let that go. So he actually has a pretty scary army here. And this is not, you know, an army that I faced very often, right? Heavy Marauder. Wow, pretty cool. So we're going to have to adapt our build a little bit. I'm actually getting in this row bay a little bit earlier than I normally would. Normally you should be getting Blink first, but yeah, it's alright. Now, I mean, we don't know when he's coming across the map. It feels like he might try to do some heavy attack to try to break this pylon. Sometimes, now there are two variants of doing this build, I think. Now you can either go, you know, 3 gate into 5 gate into an expansion, into your third, if you're feeling, you know, scared, you really want to be safe, you don't want to die. I've done that a couple times, and I've also felt scared, so I don't think it's horrible. Sometimes the faster you get the third, the better, though, so... It's hard. Nobody said it was easy. But you know, it's not, you know, it's not a build where I'm rushing out these Colossus, right? It's not a build where, if I'm not getting these Colossus out right now, I feel like I'm going to lose the game, because I don't feel like that. This is a different game, though, where I will open with an Immortal, because of how he opened. The way he opened made me feel made me feel like I should be opening with at least getting a pretty fast immortal out. Because he got all those marauders. I'm 
looks like he's not thinking about following this up. I think that's wise. The not to come up the ramp. Unless he's got stem and about to stem and win. He might still be down here. You do want to, when you're doing this build, you do want to be very careful of where you put your buildings, right? You do not want your uh, bases to be dying. It's almost nothing. You don't want your robo facility to be dying to something, you know, very, very small, very, very critical. Right, I wouldn't want to come down here, and I, I am getting charged actually immediately after blank finishes, which I do like. Which I do like. This should be pretty good for me, I'd say. I'm gonna go. I like to get the double forge as well. But I mean, also notice the positioning. I got my robe here. I got my double forge here. It's a kind of a safe spot, right? You're not really expecting things to die. Uh, pretty fast third from him. I like his build quite a bit, honestly. That's a very big army from him. Right? This is not an army that I'm just gonna take lightly either. It's a very strong army. I'm actually gonna go double robo. Double immortal. I don't see any medbacks or anything, so I guess I can probably get a little bit more in his face. There are medbacks here now. Those marauders are scary. He does have stim. Looks like he might be trying to come up to me. No, not yet. I am very scared of a Doom Drop now, though. I am going to start 1-1 here, though. Two Immortals, charge finishing. I'm starting to feel a little bit more safe. My saturation is okay. Not something I'm super proud of. Well, my saturation's pretty good. I'm still pretty scared of a Doom Drop, though, right? I mean, we don't know what he's doing. We haven't really seen much of what he's doing. He's on 1-1 one, one now as well, so that, all things to be fearful for. Dead Spot, thank you so much for subscribing, dude. It really is great to have you here, man. Thank you so much. No. This is actually okay. No. That actually went okay. Overcharge. I really don't want him doing a doom drop now. I just used all my energy. I am the void. But now I got the core army, right? I got I got upgrades. I got Colossus coming out. I've got, you know, I've got a strong army now. It's in both bases now. This is pain. This is pain. Base is under attack. You have not enough minerals. I am here in the shadow. I mean, is he gonna be coming back into my main or what? That was as not easy to deal with. Oh god. My control has been pretty lackluster here. We need to get Storm, I think. We need to get Storm. Mineral field depleted. I got a pretty decent army to deal with drops now. I got two force fields? You must construct additional pylons. I wish I had that storm out right now. Jeez, am I really this supply blocked? I am the voice of the 
No. Our pylon is under attack. This is pain because he's got the Widowmine shot. That's about to blow. My charge, Kassar de Templar. He shoots at my probes right now. That's okay. That is actually getting better for me. I know it doesn't look like it, but now I'm getting Storm. My upgrades are pretty dang good. If I had Storm right now, life would be very good. Life would be very, very good. I mean, my army is very strong, so I'm going to go back into Colossus production. I've almost got Storm. He's going to go for a Doom Drop, it's almost certain. I don't want to fight before I get uh, my, my Storms out. He must have another base by now, I think. He's got to be going for more Doom Drop, I'm thinking. I mean, I've got Storm. Storm and Colossus and Immortals. Oh, I attack before my upgrades. Oops. Oh, he does have. Ow. Okay, well, at least I got my upgrades now. That's something. We did have widow mines like here. Right here. You require more this mineral field depleted. I mean, once I get Archons and stuff, like I think my army just becomes so strong. And like he's got all these Vikings and I've got all this storm. Now he probably I mean, he will have to switch up his army here. I mean, his army has been a lot stronger than mine, though. Like, usually, though, with this army, once you end up getting Archons and stuff, like, life gets really, really easy for you. I actually don't have any Vikings, though. Or, uh, from Stalkers. But this is the core army right here. Does he have ghosts? Like, without ghosts, like, he can't win this fight. I got way more coming. I mean, from all my bases, I had a bunch of storms lined up and chilling. I mean, once again, like, look at how strong my army and my remax is here. Very, very strong. I think I will get Storm and stuff in every base, though. I probably will wait for Archons, actually. Yeah, I will wait for a bunch of Archons before I try to go kill him. He might do some Doom Drop now, though, with all my... I got a bunch of Storm. You know, I got no Storm right now. So he, this would be a good time for him to do a bunch of Doom Drops. If that's his fancy. I really need to have, like, defense over here, though. Because I, like, this base is super important for me. I am getting up extra upgrades right now. I have Storm, I have Archon, so my army is very, very good. Alright, 
Also very good. I'm not sure what his army is gonna be. I mean, you just can't. Like, see, he's using no ghosts. People aren't ready for the style. And you know, looks, you know, look bleak. Larry didn't even have bases for a long, long time. That was just too. Good. I mean, we traded way too efficiently there. There's almost no way he can hold now. Almost no way. This base is not hockey. I could wait for another warp in. Don't really have to. I mean, we killed all his Vikings. Now we've almost already remaxed, right? This is a composition that's very easy to replenish. Also, why I had, you know, defense over here. I am Europe. Very cool game. I mean, you just think about the basics of that game, right? We opened Blink Stalker, you know, and he had a different composition, right? We had to adapt a little bit. But he, it, the basic composition is Blink Stalker. You go into those Colo, you go into those I Templar, right? He went for some sort of heavy, immortal, you know, bio push, and it was actually pretty strong. But, you know, we were able to hold on. We were able to hold on. So it was a pretty cool game, though. It was a pretty cool game. Yeah. Something about that storm and stuff, dude. All right. I got the chat back. I was trying... I don't know if I'd actually do that game for, you know, my YouTube, though, because he went for too... No, he went for too much of a non-standard build. Tech switch into Storm. Most of the time, I find Disruptors just as efficient, if not more. I actually disagree, man. With this composition, I would definitely not go Colossus and Disruptor. You definitely want the High Templar. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Just when I'm making charge lots and I need Storm? DJ. Seems to kill off a bunch of the Marines that survive with 2 HP from the storm. <laughs> they just work good together, and they're still, you know, they're still not, you know, they're not useless, right? They still do a fair bit of damage, and they're, you know, they're pretty scary to face. Just caught the end of it. Hot's old school style. It's wicked strong, man. Wicked, wicked strong. I'm telling you, man.